So we're going to spend about half an hour taking the products in front of you apart. You've got a number of tools in front of you, some goggles. There are some gloves on these tables, so if you want some gloves um, when you're doing it, you can come over and, and get some. There's some uh, heavy duty hand wipes if you, get, uh, if you, if you need to clean up. Um, and there's some goggles as well. Um, so we've got some worksheets. And what we're really trying to find out is how these products were put together. What sort of questions did the manufacturer or the designer ask when they were, they were designing the product? How easy is it to disassemble? And really, I, I think a good question to ask being this, uh, this being your e-waste day, is what would have happened to these products if they, if they hadn't come in here today? So do you think they're broken or still functioning? Uh, how would you know? And, uh, and, and where, would it, where would it have gone and what would, what would have happened to it if it hadn't been diverted to these tables today? Um, you also have a, a design checklist, which, uh, which is a good reference point for, for analysing these products. And two worksheets. One is about design for disassembly. And for this one, I'd like you to, when you're taking the products apart, to note down which aspects of the products are, you think are, are, are good. So which, um, which design features have made it easy to take apart. Uh, or maybe easy to repair, easy to upgrade, um, and which which are bad. So maybe when you're taking it apart, you realise you have to break something to get in there, or or, or there's some uh, proprietary screws, so some some screws that you can't undo, or lots of something we're seeing perhaps with newer products is lots of adhesive, which makes it really difficult to put stuff back together. So that's that's one checklist. The other is um, is the parts and components. So just identify which how many different materials are in there. Um, we don't actually have any scales today, but if you could give an idea of, of the quantities of the materials you've got in there, and, uh, and really, I think we're trying to get a feel for how many different types of materials, because that all affects what happens to it when we try and we try and process it at the end of its life. So we've got half an hour now to to take this stuff apart. So I'll be wandering around, getting some ideas from you about um, about the, the, the products you're taking apart. So as Neil said, have some fun with it. But, uh, but keep thinking about, about the way that the, this, these were put together and the questions that were asked when we designed it for this linear economy. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't do anything with that. I'm going to have to smash it with a hammer. Do you have any hammers? We, do have, we have a mallet. Oh, okay. It might not do the job. Yeah. yeah. He sort of torn it, you know. I'm, I won't hang around to deal with the um, aftermath of it, though. Oops. Some of these chips are not going to come off. But I'm interested to see, I mean, is there any gold plating on any of the, I like, I mean, it's, a, it's quite, sometimes it's a little sort of cheap technique to just put very thin film plating underneath or on top of the circuit board. Screws were good quality, easy to remove. Yeah. So you could take the case off. There's not too many components that you could replace with it once you pull it off. You have the soft keypad and the different pieces of rubber here. Um, but most of the components on the circuit board were soldered on there, so you'd have to break them off. Um, the speaker, you couldn't open the speaker case once it was removed. Um, it's pretty, um, yeah. tough to get that open. So it'd be difficult to get the magnet out So of do we there. think that's maybe, is that adhesive in there, or is it some... It's maybe some clips or something. Yeah, some concealed yeah. clips. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the disassembly aspect. We're going to go and talk about how you might redesign these products. So if you want to... I mean, what, is, what do we need to replace? So this is what we're going to do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so this is... That's one plan here, we're trying to clear through the um, box to um, remove the heat pad. Those ones. Yeah, that one. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I think we're going to recycle this one here.